Hello YouTube, Sweet Tips here, and uh, I just got this uh, this old watch. Uh, my wife actually got it at a yard sale, and it wasn't working. It's a pocket watch with a second hand on it. I've got it sitting in some lighter fluid here. Uh, I took it apart. The crystal's in decent shape. It's not cracked. It's got some scratches in it and everything, but uh, it's pretty decent. It's in place. You look down in here, you can see where I, when I took the watch apart, all that junk, I flushed it out with this lighter fluid, and uh, all the junk was gumming up the uh, watch real bad, and it wouldn't run. So I took it apart, and I flushed every, all that stuff out of there, and uh, I got it soaking in a, a pool of lighter fluid here, which I think is pretty neat. Things running like crazy, running really good. And uh, really, there's nothing wrong with this watch. I set the time there about 45 minutes ago, and it's keeping good time. So I'm going to uh, button this thing back up. Amazing. Here's the number of the case. What's it say? Five one two six six four eight Ramona. Guaranteed for 20 years. That means it's gold filled. I was going to go ahead and refine this or, you know, put it in a batch of uh, gold filled scrap. But a friend of mine told told me to take it apart and soak it in some lighter fluid, see if, you, see if it'll take off and run. And bang, it sure did. This is all the junk that I flushed out of the watch. I mean, this is the first one I ever worked on. This is amazing, man, to have this thing start running. I mean, it was froze up solid. Unbelievable. I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the lighter fluid now and reassemble it. I've got all the junk out of there now. I'm going to go ahead and try to get this uh, watch movement up out of the juice here. Get it all drained out. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I've never worked on pocket watches before. The lighter fluid trick worked real well. Face is not broken, it's in perfect condition. It's a little bit of corrosion on that uh, minute hand there. A little bit of rust or something, but it's real not real bad. Two two Z no two 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 zero six three eight eight. That's the number on the movement. Alright, let's see if we can get this thing back together. I can't even remember how it came apart now. Let's see. Take this. The stem goes up in here. Like so. It's got a little square little notch cut up in there. Got to get the stem to fit up in that before I can get it rolling here. There it goes. There it goes. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we got the watch back in the case now. Well, of course, due to my inexperience, I hit that uh, hour hand and bent it up, so it's going to hit the uh, minute hand now. Sorry about the bad camera angle. I used a straight pin underneath the hour hand, down near the spindle from the watch, and I gently pressed down with the screwdriver to get that uh, hour hand back down in the correct position. adjusting that hour hand I just want to make sure everything sweeps and 
nothing hits nothing interferes we don't hit the second hand there and we don't we're good there looks like it's in good shape here Ooh, it's off off up there now it doesn't read really straight up on 12 i have to make that adjustment now Alright, we got all those little adjustments done. I'm going to try to get this uh, cover back on again. And there we go with that. Yes, sir. Alright, that's done. screw the back on there it goes just like that Perfect. All right, we'll put this up for bids on eBay, man. I don't have—I have no idea what its value is. Really, don't care. Uh, it's probably got more value than the gold I would have been able, been able to recover off of it. It's a gold-filled pocket watch, and it works. Got a couple more old watches here. Wind ups. They got second hands on them. They're gold filled cases. There's one with a steel back. But they got. Uh, look like they still got decent movements in them. I want to take these apart and see if I can get these running. We'll put those on uh, internet for sale or on eBay for sale as well. I thought about messing with these watches. I always just wanted to get the gold off the uh, cases there. But uh, maybe we can get some extra value out of them by uh, repairing the watch movements and getting them running. 